All right, now that the scanner is off, we open up scene. And I pulled out the SD card from the actual scanner. So uh, we'll insert it once this is finished. All right, I'm running version 2021.1, current on July 16th, 2021. This is the version that uh, made it possible to actually run uh, Swift and uh, without it causing too much trouble. So I'll hit Create Project. We'll call it New Swift. You don't have to do it this way. You can do the automatic transfer. So I'm inserting the SD card right now. and. You know, scene will always prompt you to import the project, but I try not to do that. Um, I like to be in control of what I'm bringing in, so I'll hit no. I'll hit import over here and import scans from the SD card. So the SD card's here. And today we did uh, these three scans over here. So you really have to grab everything that has one name. So, I mean, from here to here, this is just one name, and the mobile parts are individually and appended uh, by the um, scanner as you're moving it. So we'll just grab these in here. And you'll see that even though we grabbed three things, it only shows one scan here, which contains, of course, multiple sessions. So this is exactly what we did uh, while we were moving the scanner. So the first thing, uh, and these are probably just uh, specifics to mm, the version 2021.1 and this will probably be addressed later, but uh, I found that it's uh, tricky. when you If you hit the save right now, it tends to uh, not like um, to actually save and gives you an error message. So I've just, you can just bypass saving just by running the actual routine that is necessary. So once again, um, your scene license uh, will have to have uh, Swift enabled. I have a Swift plugin that's still valid for me for about 114 days. So this actually will work. Uh, if you don't have this, this will not have the option. But if you right click your scan that you just imported, there will be a new Swift option over here. And because I'm inside, uh, when you're inside, it's easiest to do the pre-processing anchor scans. If you're outside, it's better to use this routine. Uh, it's misnamed. It's not named very well, but you know, essentially what this does is uh, extracts a two-dimensional trajectory from your the scan plan and pre-places your uh, scans based on where those anchor scans were tagged. So we'll hit that. And once again, this will take not very long, depending on how many anchor scans you actually took, but uh, maybe a minute or two over here. Okay, so anchor scans are extracted. You can tell by uh, seeing and expanding the scan that you imported that there's a new uh, cluster called anchor scans, and this will have as many. So apparently, I did seven scans over here. And now, the, another trick to uh, make this all work uh, seamlessly and better is actually now you don't need the mobile parts anymore because this is how uh, Swift. Essentially, I call it 2.0 works. I'm going to delete these two because they're unnecessary. So I'll actually right click delete. Oh, sorry, I did objects. I didn't want to do the Oh, yeah, these are the objects. Okay, delete them. So we have the anchor scans and then we have the stationary scan. So um, the stationary scan will be associated with the anchor scan. So what I'll do is I'll actually move them into the anchor scans cluster so that they are all in one, which means when we run the registration, they all will be registered to each other, including the actual stationary scan. Um, next thing that is uh, specific and unique about uh, how you process the Swift data is you, know, you want to make the stationary scan your reference scan. So at this moment, the reference scan is indicated by the little blue dot next to the uh, anchor scan zero. 
you don't want that so typically what you want to do is you want to right click if you have multiple stationary scans it's your choice which one you pick but i only have one here so i'll right click it and i'll go into operations registration and actually make it a reference scan scene will say there already one there is already one selected for you you want to override it so we'll say yes so now there's a little blue dot next to this thing so this is it and the next thing that you really have to do before you carry on with anything I guess you could register without it, but typically the next step is you go into processing and you still process all of these scans. So we'll hit process. We'll go into however many scans we have over here. Continue. And again, this is your choice here. I typically don't always colorize, but I'll colorize for the video right now. The filters, mm, edge artifact filters, something that you, is not recommended for uh, the low resolution swift data so i've turned it off and then distance filters and the straight point filters i also have well found uh, are unnecessary with uh, this data but again it will be a per case uh, use over here so i'll leave this be and start processing and this shouldn't take very long to process because the anchor scans are way smaller than traditional full-blown 360 scans All right, now that this is done, occasionally you get this failure, but this usually doesn't mean anything because it's looking for the mobile parts that we deleted. So we'll hit OK. Everything should be pre-processed, meaning if I view just 3D, this anchor scan, we should see a room, very low resolution, but you see it's not perfectly leveled by any means, but that's the first anchor scan that was taken from position number one over here. If you kind of look at this guy will do it in quick view for example so right now we see that this is uh, me recording the video um, but it's actually showing you a bubble view of what was going on around the actual scanner when the anchor scan was uh, being done so if I go into the 3d view once again you'll see that this is what it kind of looks like so and it does mask out its own little handle for the the cart so you can't really see much uh, right behind the actual scanner when you're pushing it uh, because you're standing there it doesn't include you into the scan so it, it, it's smart enough to know that so now if you look at the whole uh, project it'll look like it's kind of where it needs to be already you can see that the stationary scans there and the anchor scans are also in relative position to where they should be uh, might not be perfect yet because you see that it's not very level because we haven't done any kind of registration on this thing yet but just by right clicking and hitting operation and placing scans we're hoping to actually fix this so we'll go into cloud to cloud routine typically I don't mess with this it's uh, more of a setting uh, uh, it depends on what your settings are when you're actually scanning but the little slider might need to be slid up to the right a little bit but uh, we'll also look for five foot uh, deviances between the individual scans but should still pull everything together pretty nicely so we'll hit okay you'll see it loads the scans really quickly because they're very small data sets and the registration shouldn't take very long either because we don't have that many scans even though it's seven eight scans that we're looking at over here so we can see that it actually tweak the data in a little bit already just by virtue of having the uh, data here you can see that the results are half a millimeter off on a lot of the data that was already registered which means the data also seems to be uh, leveled because we are keeping the actual stationary scan as our uh, anchor scan not anchor scan sorry reference scan but we're looking at the data now it looks like we collected information I was walking around and standing around but you see that there's that's the stationary scan over here these are the actual anchor scans and the, the environment that we scanned although very small was scanned in just really, really literally very, just a few seconds so uh, that's it now you're actually looking at the project in its entirety 
um, finished, then uh, there's no other workflow that is uh, needed after this to make it work. This is where I would probably hit save because now it will actually save uh, without complaining and uh, you can proceed to hit your export or uh, do any kind of uh, you know clicking and clipping and removing any of the noise points but this project is now finished and you can merge it to a stationary scan with targets without targets uh, this is where the world is your oyster now you can do whatever you want to do with this so hopefully this was a useful video and if you have any Questions or comments, leave them below.